This episode is made possible in part by Project Lead the Way. and ready to pick, they'll blow the harvest. <laughs> Horn, did you hear that? My wish came true. It's harvest day! Yay! Hurry, get your bikes. I'll meet you at the sow and grow. Howdy, folks. Mr. E here. <laughs> Just blowing my nose. <laughs> Speaking of noses, be sure to blow your honker <laughs> on an easy sneezy. Best hanky you'll ever own on sale this week. Ah, Perfect shade of red. Just the right amount of squish and the smell. Oh, earth. With a touch of plum and sun. Aww. The tomatoes are ripe. Right length. Perfect snap. The pole beads are ripe. Everything is ripe and ready to eat. You know what that means. Time, Time to, to blow, blow the harvest horn. Is that the four real harvest horn? Nah, I bet it's Mr. E selling party trumpets. Got my hat ready to go. Hurry, kiddos, it's harvest day. For real? It's a day that we wait for, a day we hold so dear. so dear. Our harvest day, our thankful day, that comes just once a year. So sing yay for harvest day, sing it loud and clear. Time to harvest and cook and play on such a yummy day. Let's be thankful for the year. Hello and welcome to Harvest Day. We have here your picking assignments. Our family will dig the sweet potatoes and harvest the pumpkins. Yay! Ellie, you're in charge of pole beans and callaloo. Yay! Super, Zadie, Zeke, Malik, you're pulling up the carrots and onions. Yay! Hot diggity. Sammy and Kike, shake the plantains. Yay! Louisa, Duffy, Laco, you'll hop till you drop those shiitake mushrooms into the baskets. Woohoo! Mr. E, you pick the tomatoes. All right. 
Amato and Gabriella, your family can harvest the kangkong. Oh, yeah. Everyone grab a basket, get set, and harvest! Oh, dear. What oh. is this? Oh, my I, I can't see a thing. What happened? Where'd the sun go? Do you not know about fog, Zeke? It's like a cloud that's down on the ground. Fog so thick I can't see my own hand. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Careful, everyone. Try not to step on any veggies. Sorry, I smushed a tomato. Ooh, there went another one. Okay, okay, come back, everyone. Follow the sound of my voice. Now gather around. Here, over here. It's too dangerous for the veggies to try and harvest in a fog. Gotta sit tight till the fog's all gone. What happens if the fog doesn't go? Will we have to cancel harvest day? Well, I hate to say it. Maybe. Oh, no! I only just found out about harvest day and now it's canceled? No fair. If only our eyes could see through fog. Wait a minute. We sell fog goggles at the Everything Emporium. Fog goggles, get your fog goggles. Guaranteed to see through any thickness of fog. Well, they don't actually sell, cause no one ever buys them, uh, but I have them. I might need help finding them. We'll help. Great. Now, where's that zip line? Ah. Mr. E, are you okay? I'm good, no worries. Yay! <laughs> Back in a jiff with the goggles, folks! <laughs> now to find those goggles. Where did I put them? Hmm. To the deep six! Follow me! The what? Down, down, six floors below the ground. This way! Hurry! Hurry! No time to lose! Whoa! What is this? This is my deep six storage facility, where I keep items that don't sell, like fog goggles. And sparkle mitts. You've got ten zillion boxes of sparkle mitts. Sixty-four boxes, to be precise. I don't exactly remember where I stored the fog goggles, but I do know that every box has a symbol on the front showing what's inside. I designed the symbols myself. Uh, what's the symbol for fog goggles? Oh, that I do not know. If the symbol for sparkle mitts is a sparkly mitten, then the symbol for fog goggles... Probably looks like goggles or glasses, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. There! That symbol totally looks like goggles. <laughs> I can't reach! Ugh. No worries! Just the... Um, eek! I'll save you, mystery! That symbol looks like a blanket. Pillows? Even better! Ah! Uh -huh. ah, goggles on the box, goggles in the box. Call me a genius, I won't object. What? So that's where I put all my aids. Uh, for mailboxes and house addresses. I probably should store my boxes of aids this way so I can tell their numbers and not goggles. I don't see anything that looks goggly. I wonder if I made a symbol for fog instead of for goggles. Let me think. Hmm. Kid, do you think a little bit faster, Mystery? Our friends are waiting. Fog, fog, go away. You're kind of wrecking Harvest Day. Huh. Awesome. Yes. Fog, fog, you went away! Time to jump and yell, hooray! Yay! Everyone grab a basket and harvest! Oh, no. It's bad. You gotta be kidding me. How about this? Could this be the symbol for fog? No, that's the symbol for sneeze. 
as in easy sneezies. The hanky no one will buy because it's so tickly, it makes you sneeze even more. Ah. Mr. E? I am upset, vexed, annoyed. Whose idea was fog? Is there any excuse for fog? There is not! You listen to me, Fog! Not only are you ruining Harvest Day, but you've stuck me with fog goggles I can't sell or even find! What about this gray frowny face? How could that be a symbol for Fog? Cause it kind of looks like Mr. E's face when he's talking about Fog. Yes! And the frown is gray because Fog is gray! Do these two dots mean eyes? Yes, eyes, because you can see through the fog. That's it! That's my symbol for fog goggles. I am 96% positive. <laughs> Anyone got a song to sing? Something nice and happy? This fog is so bad, it is making me sad. We're back! With goggles. Stick out your hands and we'll give you a pair. Amazing! Oh, I can see! <sighs> to the harvest, everyone! Hooray! It's a day that we wait for, a day we hold so dear. So dear. A harvest day. Yeah! <laughs> Careful! I can still sell those! 50% off use fog goggles while supplies last! everyone. We've successfully harvested all the fruits and veggies in the Sow and Grow garden. Oh, all right. <laughs> now comes the best part, the harvest feast and festivities. Yay! Over there, let's get things set up to cook. And over there, we can play the greatest sports event of the year, the Treeberhood Thankfulness Bowl. Let's do this. It's time to start creating the traditional Treeberhood 
Yummy tummy stew! Hoo-hoo! I love that stew! I've been looking forward to it all year! But first, we pick the official taste tester for the stew. Right, Grandma? That's right. The taste tester has a very important job. They make sure the stew is the yum, yummy, yummiest it can be. Which means, one, the vegetables need to be in bite-sized pieces. Two, the stew can't be too thick or too thin. And three, the veggies must be fully cooked so they're soft enough for a fork to stick into them. I've longed to be the taste tester my entire life! I wrote down everybody's names on these slips of paper, and whoever's name I pick is this year's taste tester. This year, the taste tester is... Pick me, pick me, pick me. Mr. E. Woohoo! Ra, ra, sis, ba, yay, me, Mr. E. <gasps> This is the spoon every taste tester has used since the very first traditional Treeperhood Yummy Tummy Stew was made. Oh! Now to pick the official stew chef! The Treeperhoodian who will create the stew and make sure it's up to the taste tester's standards is... Zeke! Yes! We're a team, Mr. E. <laughs> yes. Zeke, I present to you the official Treeberhood Harvest's chef's hat. It smells old. Now you get to pick a helper, Zeke. Who are you going to choose? Helper! Helper! Who do I choose? Helper, helper, I choose you. Louisa, you're my helper. Yippee! We'll keep an eye on the fire for you. The rest of us will play in the... <laughs> annual Treeberhood Thankfulness Bowl! Yay! <laughs> okay, divide yourselves into two teams. Team Corncob on this side, Team Carrot on that side. As all of you play, I shall sit on the sidelines in my official taste tester chair. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah. Mr. E, you could also be referee. When someone scores, you play a happy sound. And if they mess up, you're out of bounds. Everyone remember the rules to the thankfulness bowl? You must pass the ball to every one of your teammates and say something you're thankful for. Then, the last player hits it into the basket. The tricky part is the other team can try to grab the ball as you pass it. <laughs> you see? It's tricky. What should we do first, Chef Zeke? Maybe we ought to wash the veggies before we cook them? Veggies are now all clean. To create the traditional Treeberhood Yummy Tummy Stew, it has every kind of veggie we harvested. Plantains, pole beans, callaloo, king kong, shiitake mushrooms, carrots, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. I'm thankful for friendships. Amato, I'm thankful you tend to the Treeberhood. I'm thankful I just scored! <laughs> Taste test time, Mr. E. Mm, I'm sorry, Zeke. This won't do. The veggies are too big. I can't even get this sweet potato in my mouth. As official taste tester, I insist the veggies be chopped into bite-sized pieces so that they fit in our mouths. We need to improve our stew by cutting all the veggies into bite-sized pieces. We can chop them. We have built-in choppers. Here we go. Uh -huh. yeah. And I'm thankful for this. Yes! Score! Taste test time, Mr. Taste Testers. Ugh, it's too thick. 
Remember, the stew can't be too thick. We don't want a chewy stewie. Try again. You can do it. We need to improve the stew and make it not so thick. But how? Thinking positions. Hey, remember when we made mud pies and the mud was too thick to mash? Yeah, we added water to make the mud thinner and gooier so we could mash it. Let's see if adding water makes the stew thinner. Stop! You put out the fire! The stew looks thinner with all the water in it. Let's see what Mr. E thinks. Duffy, I'm thankful for all the yummy cupcakes you bake. Yeah. And I'm thankful... Huh. Well, not for that. Mr. Taste Tester, taste it out. It's really, really, really good. Ah! This stew is far too thin and watery. First you said it was too thick. Now it's too thin? Mr. E, can you not make up your mind? Remember? The stew can't be too thick or too thin. Is the stew the yum, yum, yummiest it can be? Nope. Oh. Well, how can we improve it? What can we do? We need to make it thick, but not too thick. How do we do that? Hmm. Maybe we can make it thicker if we add thicker vegetables? Let me see. Ew-wee! Tomato gooey on my foot. That tomato goo looks pretty thick. Let's add more tomatoes to the stew to thicken it. That looks much, much thicker. Carly, I'm grateful your family grew all the veggies for the harvest. <laughs> Test this out. Ooh, ooh. This definitely is not too thick or too thin. Let's see if it passes the fork test. Excellent indeed. The veggies are fully cooked, but how does it taste? This is the yum, yum, yummiest traditional treeberhood yummy tummy stew ever created. One, the vegetables are in bite-sized pieces. Two, the stew isn't too thick or too thin. And three, the veggies are fully cooked, so they're soft enough for a fork to stick into them. It's time to chow down! Yay! Final score, corn cob three, carrots three. It's a tie! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Before we feed our faces, Louisa and I want to say we are very thankful and happy and glad that we live in the Treeberhood with all of you. Cuz, did you not know we love you? <laughs> That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. I, I believe I speak for everyone when I say, did you not know we love you too? Yeah! <laughs> now, let's eat. Great work, little Squish. It's a day that we wait for, a day we hold so dear. Our harvest day, our thankful day, that comes just once a year. So sing yay for harvest day, sing it loud and clear. Time to harvest and cook and play on such a yummy day. Let's be thankful for the year. Work It Out Wombats is made possible in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, by these generous supporters, and by viewers like you. Thank you.
Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.